under post harvest management and value addition of fruit and vegetable course good morning sixth semester 2017 18 batch students of the faculty of agriculture ba urachi today i'm here by going to deliver uh, a lecture on preserved candy crystallized and glazed fruits now preparation of preserve a mature fruit or vegetable or its pieces impregnated with heavy sugar syrup till it become tender and transparent is known as preserve aula apple pear mango cherry karanda strawberry pineapple papaya carrot etc can be used for making preserve a po specification for preserve is tss 68 degree brix and fruit pulp 55 degree percent general consideration cooking of fruit directly in syrup causing shrinkage of fruit and reduces absorption of sugar therefore the fruit should be blanched first to make it soft enough to absorb water before steeping in syrup however highly juice high juice containing fruit may be cooked directly and by three process this can be achieved preparation of preserve rapid process fruit are cooked in low sugar syrup boiling is continued with gentle heating until the syrup becomes sufficiently thick the final concentration of sugar should not be less than 68% which corresponds to the boiling point of 106 degree celsius this is a simple and cheap process but the flavor flavor and the color of the product are lost considerably during boiling a slow process in slow process the fruit is blanched until it becomes soft sugar equal to the weight of fruit is added to the fruit in alternate layer one one layer of fruit then another layer of sugar in this uh, fashion in this sequence it is arranged and the mixture is allowed to stand for 24 hours during this period the fruit give out water and the sugar goes into solution resulting into syrup containing 37 to 38% tss next day the syrup is boiled and continuously it is raised to 60% and then 65% tss and ultimately to 70% this is the main uh, process it is by slowly gradually the tss is uh, increased third one is vacuum process in which fruit is first softened by boiling and then placing in syrup we should have 30 to 35% tss the fruit syrup uh, blend is then transferred to a vacuum pan and concentrate under reduced pressure of 70% tss it is under vacuum this 70% uh, uh, tss is obtained this is the principle and preserves made by this process retain its flavor and color of the fruit better than other two methods this is the Uh, most important method vacuum process by which color and uh, uh, flavor is retained now uh, flow diagram of uh, preserve mature fruit is taken washed preparation of fruit for sugar treatment uh, keeping fruit and sugar um, in alternate layers 1 kg of fruit 1 kg of sugar or steeping fruit of 40% tss for a day removal of fruit increasingly consistency of a syrup to 60% tss what we have already discussed this is the um, um, graphic uh, uh, representation by um, flow diagram it is represented and uh, it is uh, the done till the um, uh, steeping in 70% tss for a week and again when uh, tss of 70% is uh, arrived then covering fruit with uh, then the uh, syrup is drained and it is covered by freshly prepared sugar of 68% tss this is the main uh, yeah, main uh, principle of making um, preserve and then it is stored in cool and dry place now preparation of candied fruit or vegetable a fruit or vegetable impregnated with cane sugar or glucose syrup and subsequently drained free of syrup and dried is known as 
candied fruit or vegetable. The main difference between preserve and candy that in case of uh, preserve, the TSS is uh, rise to 70 percent, uh, percent, and then the syrup is drained out and it is uh, uh, filled with freshly prepared 68 uh, percent sugar solution. But in case of candy, the final TSS is shoot up, shooted up to 75 percent and it remains dry. This is the uh, main principle. The most suitable uh, uh, fruit for canning are awla, karonda, pineapple, cherry, papaya, apple, peel of orange, lemon, grape, fruit and ginger etc. The F FPO specification for candied fruit are TSS 75%, total sugar 70% and reducing sugar 25%. The process for making candied fruit is practically similar to that of preserve. The only difference is that the fruit impregnated with syrup having a higher percentage of sugar that is 75 percent and it it is kept dry preparation of crystallized fruit or vegetable we have, we have seen in market uh, the fruit and vegetable having uh, sugar particle this is uh, a, a crystallized fruit and vegetable Cris candied fruit and vegetable coated with crystals of sugar either by rolling in finely powdered sugar or by allowing sugar crystals from a dense syrup to deposit on them are called crystallized fruit the candied fruit are placed on a wire mesh tray, cooled syrup, 70% TSS is gently poured over the fruit so as to cover it entirely. The whole mass is left undisturbed for 12 to 18 hours during which a thin coating of uh, crystallized sugar is formed. The fruit are then placed in a single layer on wire mesh tray and drained at a room temperature of uh, 49 degrees Celsius in dryers. Now preparation of glazed fruit or vegetable. Covering of candied fruit or vegetable with a thin tra tra transparent coating of sugar. Glaze means glossy, which imparts them a glossy appearance is known as glazing. Cane sugar and water 2 is to 1 by weight are boiled in a steam pan at 113 to 114 degrees Celsius and the scum is removed at, uh, when it comes up. Thereafter, the syrup is pulled at 93 degrees Celsius. The rubbed with wooden ladle on the side of the pan when granulated sugar is obtained. Dried candied fruit are passed through this granulated portion of the sugar solution one by one by means of fork and then placed, placed on trays in warm dry room. They may also be dried at a dryer at 49 degrees Celsius for 2 to 3 hours when they become crisp. They are packed in airtight containers for storage. Now problems in preparation of preserve and candy. Fermentation. It is due to low concentration of sugar used in the initial stage of preparation of preserve and insufficient cooking. This can be prevented by boiling the product at suitable intervals, by adding the required quantity of sugar and by storage in a cool and dry place. Floating of fruits in jar. It is mainly due to filling the preserve without cooling and can be avoided by cooling the preserve prior to filling. Toughening of fruit skin or peel due to inadequate blanching or cooking of fruit hence blanching till uh, it becomes tender is necessary. Fruit shrinkage. Cooking of fruit in heavy syrup greatly reduces absorption of sugar and causes shrinkage. Therefore, fruit should be blanched first and cooked in low sugar syrup. Stickness. It may be developed after drying or during storage due to insufficient consistency of the syrup, poor quality packing. Uh, since these products are hygroscopic in nature, waterproof packaging needed. These are the uh, photographs of different uh, products. Original sources are duly acknowledged. At first we can see the, um, uh, it is uh, preserved, suspended in uh, um, sugar solution. Then um, in the right side, petha, uh, one type of candy, in which is we, all we see in normal cases, uh, this available petha, it is made from ash god or wax god, Beninkasa hispida. And then below this we can see the crystallized fruits 
and in the left side strawberry having glossy you can see this glossy appearance uh, by coating of sugar sugar solution which we have discussed thank you thank you thank you very much